Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and for today we have a custom airsoft video, and basically what I'm going to be showing you today is how to legally and very easily um, paint your airsoft gun. So in Canada, a lot of our airsoft guns are clear and people don't like that, but there's always the argument of if you can paint them, leave on the orange tip, etc. I'm not 100% sure on the laws. This is just the most legal way I can think of how to do it. So go ahead, show it me in the comments below if you think it's legal or not. But um, just thought I'd put that disclaimer right there. So to do this mod, all you're gonna need instead of paint itself, is this thing called Plasti Dip. Now this, if you guys don't know, is mainly used on automobile purposes. That's what I use it for anyway. Um, if you want to see more of that, go check out my car channel, BFGF Car Mods. My girlfriend and I make lots of cool videos there. Anyway, uh, this is what we're going to be using today. And basically the idea is that you spray it on and it turns into a rubber coating. And you can peel it off if needed. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to show you guys putting on the first coat. Usually it takes about three coats. And the cool part about using Plasti Dip over spray paint is you don't have to tape over the areas you don't want painted because after it's hardened, you can simply peel it off of, say, the trigger, the release, the mag release, the handle, um, the hammer. If you're really meticulous about your gun, I would still tape them off. But for time savings, I'm going to show you just painting over everything and then peeling it off afterwards. Just make sure not to get any in the barrel or inside the gun like in the trigger well. Okay, so here we go. First coat. Give it a really good shake first, of course. And we're going to go ahead and let that dry. Other side. Let it dry. So there's the first coat. It's pretty much dry, it's still a little bit wet maybe, but it applied pretty nicely as you can see. If you wanted, you could even keep the handle that same black. Always make sure to get in little cracks like in under there. And so this could do, if you were to keep everything black just like this, um, it also adds a nice matte finish, which I quite like. And I didn't paint over the orange tip that much. I did it on the sides by accident a little bit. Um, I missed that part too because I didn't want to get any in the barrel. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and apply a second coat. And then I'll show you peeling it off. So there's two coats all dried off. Um, now basically I'll show you on a few of the components. I'll try my best. Um, so maybe to start with, what should I do first? How about we try the trigger? So say you wanted to take the plastic dip off the trigger. 
Uh, as you can see with my thumbnail, I'm basically just picking at it until you can get enough off to grab. Then you're going to want to grab it and peel it and keep peeling it. Maybe use your thumb to push it. There's a good piece I got right there. This one's a bad example because it's in such a bad location. But you get the idea right there. Peel it off. And basically, wherever there's a crack, it'll automatically rip. So there's no need to cut it or anything. Because basically when you sprayed it, it wouldn't connect itself over a crack. So once I get the last little bit off the tip here. That should be good. There you go. There you see the full unplasty dipped trigger. Um, I kind of like the grips plasti dipped. I was going to change that. Now the one question I have is this part here I did plasti dip. But this is a sliding back gun. Oh, that one doesn't move. My bad. But just in case you were wondering if the components would get all locked up. There I loaded it. And there it fully fires. Try again. I didn't leave long, long enough to dry, I don't think, because it cracked right there. So if you leave longer to dry, or maybe even take an X-Acto knife, and kind of cut it where all the moving parts happen, which is there, and potentially, let's test the magazine release. So there you go, magazine release still works. Obviously I just painted the bottom of the mag. And lastly, say a cop was coming. The reason that this I think is the most legal way to do it is if a cop got mad at you or if he was coming and before he came over, I'm not saying to uh, go against the law or anything like that. All you do is go like this and uh, peel it back all the way and they will never know it was painted. So there you have it folks. That I think is the best way to legally and easily spray paint your gun. And if you do it to an expensive gun, don't get all stuck up on the color. You can always change it in the future by peeling it off redoing it and I got this here at my local hardware store for like 10 bucks or so great product used on your cars too. make them all swaggy anyway thanks for watching everyone hope you guys enjoyed the video as always please like comment and subscribe